welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, for another hour of entertainment and answers, questions, connections to loved ones up above. So as I start the show, I just want to say, if you are on any of my social media um, and somebody pops up saying they, you know, oh, you need a reading, this, that, ignore that, report them. Um, it's a scam. It's not me. Second, how the show works, and I may repeat this once or twice, we have quite a few new people um, with the show, and I'm very, very grateful for that, but I want to make sure everybody understands how it works. Uh, so I will be, I record the show live with YouTube every Monday and Wednesday at, Monday at um, noon central and Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. I use YouTube to do that. You can pop on YouTube, watch the show live, post your questions in the chat. I try to get to as many people as I can. Um, it's kind of first come, first serve, or first I see, first serve. So please don't be upset if I don't get to you. Remember, you know, I'm, I, I don't, you know, don't, don't come at me if I don't answer your question unless you have made a donation, then you have the right to come at me um, because you actually made a donation to get your question answered. But otherwise, I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart for you guys. So please keep it kind. <laughs> or you can call in 845-277-9131 and you can ask a question and or ask to connect to a loved one on the other side. Okay, when you're asking a question, please have an exact area of your life. The reason being is there's a lot of energy floating around and it gives me permission to get directly into the area of your life that you're asking for. And then I can search around your energy for whatever other information comes through. You get one question one question even in the chat once you've asked one question then i move on to the next because there are so many people waiting um if you're asking for a loved one uh please have an exact person their their first name and their relationship to you and then uh, if other people show up that i can acknowledge at the time i will i appreciate everybody kind of working with me and all these guys up here to make the show um, beautiful. You guys, you know what? There's this, um, all of my, behind me there is a window, but I keep the blinds closed and I'm, I don't know if you guys are seeing, I think there's a ray of light coming in, which could not be coming in from the window because it's all closed off, but whatever, that's just a quirky little me thing. I do have the door open today so that some fresh air can get in finally. Yay. Uh, so we might hear some outdoor noises. Uh, it's okay. It's okay if you hear a bird or a truck or something. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, airplane passing over. It's okay. I don't have to explain that every time something happens. It's just outdoor noises. We'll all survive it. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, I, start, I start the show. You guys wouldn't believe some of the messages I get about the show. People, I think, think I have like 20 people here, like for audio and visual and cameras. And like, no, it's this person right here. That's it. <laughs> so it's okay. Whatever happens, it's okay. We'll all survive it. It's it's a it's like a reality show. We just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Don't feel the need to email me or message me and tell me I can't sing. We all know I can't sing. Don't feel the need to tell me the callers are louder than I am. We all know that. We heard it. We hear it. Don't feel the need to message me and tell me oh, whatever it is you're thinking of telling me. <laughs> it, we, we're there. We're there. We know. So please, um, okay, I'm going to go into, um, uh, I'm going to go into names and then I'm going to go into, um, 
songs. Okay. And and so the names are, it could be your name, their name, or um, somebody like a pet's name, a family member's name, whatever it is. So I'm going to start there. And the first name I'm getting is um, Eugene. The next name I'm getting is Robert. The next name I'm getting is Paul. The next name is Luciata, L-U-C-I-E-T-A. However, that's pr pronounced that they they literally showed me this the spelling of it. The next name is um, Lucinda. The next name is Mariana. Mari Mari Mariana. I can finally roll my tongue, but only when I'm channeling. If I try to do that normally, I'm just spitting on everything like a little fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord there are literally tears coming out of my eyes i know you can't see it but it's true uh the next name is <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i don't need a partner i can entertain myself apparently um, the next name is uh georgia or Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. The next name is um, Joan, Jonelle or Joni. I think that Janelle was the jo, Jonelle was the name, and then Joni might have been a nickname or two separate people. I don't know. Um, the next name is Pink. Uh, I can't, I'm having trouble getting the next name, but the next name is going to be the last name. Um, I think it's Pinka or some, some variation of that. Some, some variation of Pinka. And of course, somebody mowed their lawn, but it started mowing their lawn and doing outdoor yard work, but it's okay because it's nice and we want some fresh air in the in the space to clean out the old winter air. It's okay, we're all gonna get through it, okay. If you'd like to call in 414-897-2869, I take the calls in the order I receive them and the questions in the order that I receive them. If you join the show early, I answer your questions prior to the show. Uh, if you're joining the show now, I go between callers and chat. And let's go to the next, are we doing songs today? I keep hearing there's a message, just like last week. So I'm going to do the message. I'm trying to find out what the message is about before I start it. I apologize. So is the message about love, relationship, self. Okay. Okay. The message is about self. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> there is an understanding that you may be missing within yourself, and it is that you are the star, you are the light. From galaxies away, they should be able to look down and see your brightness, your shine, the way you look up into the sky and see other people's light or stars in the sky. In order for you to harness or to have or to see your light or have others see it, you must first fully envelop and understand who you are, why you're here, and what it is that you are doing. And all of that is dependent upon you. Although you have a playbook that you came in with, a book, a guide that was pre-written long before you came in, you have free will to choose which direction you take with that. Each of you has a purpose, a passion, a feeling, what you really truly want in life. Many of you would say that would be money or more money or love or whatever it is. That must first start within you. If it is, for example, money, what do you want the money for? Figure that out. And you might say, 
security, then there is an issue with security within you. If you want to feel safe, then there is, if you want the money so that you feel safe, then there is an issue with safety within you. If let's say you want the money to have a better life, then there is a limiting belief within you that is stopping you and blocking you from this better life. It is love, then there is a, a place within you that is lacking love for yourself and before you argue and you say no I love myself do you love everything about you can you look in the mirror at your whole entire body naked and say I love this and if you can can you look at your mind and your thoughts and say I love them can you look at your history and say I love that can you look at everything that has happened with understanding and grace for yourself and understand that you are perfect and everything you have done has been by design and allowed it not even forgiven what has happened in the past but allow it to unfold as it was supposed to there is nothing that happens without uh there is nothing that happens without an understanding of this is the direction that you are supposed to be going and these are the lessons that are to be learned or the experiences let's not call them lessons let's call them experiences the experiences that you were meant to have the beauty of it is in the accepting of it as it was and with that you flourish into the most beautiful divine being soul there could be it is those things that happened in the past that we take responsibility for that we had no responsibility in and those things in the past that we allowed to blame ourselves or not forgive ourselves or not forgive in general when there was never any forgiveness to be had because it was a part of the growing experience and we look bad we look back because we have been taught that everything is good or it is bad but it is neither it is neither it is an experience it is an experience that you had to help in your growth and understanding and to not judge in the future one way or the other if you have a judgment we will help you undo that judgment by having you have an experience personally or with somebody close in your family or somebody that you love so you can release that judgment many of you say i never want to come back to this plane i never want to come back here this plane is not bad because it's bad it's bad because of the way you feel about what has happened to you when you get the feeling that it was meant to be to help me it happened for me for my growth, for my understanding, for my grace, for my grace, then you have power in everything that has happened. But when you look at yourself with shame and you say, oh, if you knew me, I did this, I did that. Mm -hmm. My darling, my love, my beautiful souls. Everybody did something but the something that anyone and everyone has done has been part of their journey to grow into a completely accepting being okay okay let's get this party started okay uh again uh call in 845-277-9131 and I really am sorry about all the two people on either side started started doing lawn stuff. Never ever. <laughs> They're usually working and not even a home at this time. It's of course it would happen this way, right? But it's okay. We'll get through it. The first caller is um 470, 470. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Trina. I'm calling from Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Trina. How can I help you today? Um, do you see anything, a message for me from the other guy? 
Okay, Trina, you've been listening since the beginning of the show. So I'm going to ask you to pick a person on the other side and or get, uh, uh, just a name and a relationship is all I need to get into your energy love. Uh, my boyfriend's mother named Betty. Betty. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's feisty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> She's feisty. <laughs> like the way I would also say it is nobody was getting one over on her because she had so much life experience. You couldn't, you couldn't like the way they're saying it to me or she's saying it with to me is you couldn't play with her, not in a playful way, but oh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you ain't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can play with tomorrow, but don't you dare play with me is like kind of the way I'm hearing it from her. So the first thing she would want to say is, although things are a little bit tumultuous right now, um, relationships aren't, relationships come together. Okay. Yep, they do. Um, but, but the beautiful parts are not what make the relationship grow. Any and every relationship, you have two people from two different upbringings coming together based on the good they see in each other. But they're, what really makes the bond of a relationship strong is when you can overcome some of the hurdles. Not Now, it shouldn't be full of unhealthy, toxic hurdles, but, you know, working through things together and so what I'm hearing and the reason this message is coming through is it might be a little bit tumultuous right now, whether that's due to um, finances or something else. What they're saying is, hold on, everything's going to be okay. And that it, it, there is, um, there's an understanding coming in. And I love that because once we understand something, we can, we can just flourish, um, so there's an understanding coming in and with this understanding will bring a lot of peace. And so don't say why when something goes, this is the message for you specifically. Don't say why when something happens, like why did that happen? Why, why is he behaving like this? Why? Say, help me understand it. Help me understand it help me understand this and then from there everything will start to flow in a much um more solid and beautiful and just like a, a con congruent look more like a like a lazy river than the ocean waves <laughs> okay <laughs> and that's what i have for okay. you beautiful and that they show you their sign that they're with you, their confirmation that they're with you is I'm seeing the uh, like breakfast food, like the smell of the smell of toast or the smell of breakfast food, like bacon and eggs. When you smell that or you right. have the urge that that is them, that is your loved ones coming through solid. And then somebody up there is saying, don't forget the grits. I, I personally, whatever that is, I'm not really sure, but don't forget that like the smell like my daddy okay 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 thank you so much thank you oh god i love my life um so anytime that i'm i'm gonna go off of breakfast food and i'm gonna stand solid on any food so if you smell like barbecue and i'm seeing ribs and if you smell any food that that is their sign. But also if you get the urge to bake it, that's them coming to you saying, it's time to get back to your soul. It's time to work with your soul again, because in baking and cooking and frying, that's our soul. That's our, that's when we, we put that love, we put that, that, that smack on that food, that spank on that food. And we can, we can just, right. oh, mm -hmm. right, whatever kind of food you make. Uh, right. <laughs> yes, like we're like, mm, just in there, we're in it, giving it everything we have. So they're saying their confirmation for you is that, and they're showing me uh, this might, is some, this is from the past, it's not from the future, but it was something in a park-like setting like a re 
like a family, like there were a lot of people there and it was a park like setting, like a picnic or something like that. And so they're showing me that and they're saying, go back to the good times, go back to the joy, go back to the happiness and allow yourself to be in those moments again and then recreate them. So you, it's okay to plan them out now. It's okay to be in that emotion and that space again. Okay, beautiful. Okay. <sighs> so I got... In other words, I got her blessing by being with her son. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes. And as you know, I always say, you know, as long as something's not toxic and causing us an unhealthy life, it's all good. But, I, and I also always say, you know, we can make any relationship work depending on how much we're willing to put up with or sacrifice but we shouldn't have to put up and sacrifice it shouldn't feel like that it should be a healthy compromise between two people so make sure that's happening um i think no matter i think you're too deep in what i'm hearing is you're too deep in to walk away you're not going any place right now no matter what so have understanding and allow yourself to be in that space where you remember why you fell in love with this person and why you wanted this person, but also, you know, have understanding for some of the things that come in. And another thing I always say is human beings do human things and we're all human beings and we're all doing human things. It's part of why we're here. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank I you. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and please call back anytime. You too. Thank you, love. Yes, ma'am. You stay blessed. Thank you. you You're too. welcome. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go to the first question on the chat. I just have to find it. So if I miss your question, please don't get upset with me. Just repost it. If I start too far down, um, just just repost, repost the question because I'm kind of trying to get through um, to here's here's a question. Um, let's hit this. Okay. Will a laser engraving business be busy successful for me? Yes, I get yes right away. Should I sell on Etsy or make my own website? Both, all three, all three. Um, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Everybody's on everything when they're selling things. Everybody is on everything. So get on everything, get it set up and then put it every place. Um, you can have it all lead back to your website. You can have it lead back to Etsy, Shopify. You can have it lead back to wherever it's going to go, but have it on everything the, you in today's business world. We can't, we can't just, we can just pick one, but then we would definitely be missing out. And the other thing I'm hearing is do videos like um videos yeah videos of you doing the work and do them like you know facebook TikTok, a couple of other venues have live so go on live and and just start doing it and showing people and do the do the get the get the orders um i i'm hearing like that that's cool let watch watch the money pile up or let the money pile up um so that is what i'm getting for you love i hope that was extremely helpful erin i'm going to go to the next caller who is excuse me 312 312 what's your name and where are you calling from hi there hello hi there thank you Hi there, thank you for taking my call. I called you a couple weeks back. My name is Marquis. 
I'm calling from Chicago, and I feel grateful to be here. Thank you once again. My so I have pleasure. a career question. I want to know when I have my next set of interviews. You told me last time that it was right around the corner. I've had quite a few false starts. Um, but I still think, you know, the divine saved the best for last. So just wondering what you what you see. Okay, do you want to know when you're going to have your interviews or do you want to know when you're going to be working? So I, Okay, we could do working. When, when, yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting to is um, I'm getting a bit, I know you, so I'm going to tell you everything I'm hearing and there's like two roads you can take simultaneously or you can choose one or the other. Sometimes when it takes us such a, a like it's so difficult to find a position, we're supposed to be maybe considering doing something on our own. And one of the things that I'm hearing here is grants, contracting, um, and those mm-hmm. two things, when I hear grants and contracting, that is my personal thing that there's a there's something, you could take your, either what you want to do, what you really want to do, or your skills and talents, and if they're the same thing, you're blessed. But you can take and you you might be in alignment. This might be your time. They're saying your time to shine, your time to start something that is your own and have a contracting or a business on your own where you might work with many people doing your services. Or you could get hired. Um, that's going to take a little bit longer for some reason because Or you could do both. You could start one now while you're still doing the other one. And I'm going to say a lot of companies now would rather they're they're trying to get away from having to provide, um, you know, benefits to people. And if you're a contractor, they're more likely to work with you if they can outsource it or bring you on as a contractor. So those are the things I'm getting. But I'm also getting that you you have a passion project that you've been wanting to do. And passion project, that's their word. And you should really look into doing that. And that might be where the grants come in or angel investors or whatever to help you get that um, passion project started, whatever that is. So that is that's now if I'm going to look at if you're going to work for a company, if your decision is made just to, you know, work for a company. Uh When will that be? You know, they keep saying soon. Has she applied to the company that's going to hire her? Not yet. Uh, Is she going to find this on a company? You're going to find it on a company website, not on a search website or a job website, but an actual company website. Um, and if you start going to come and it, it is it look, it might not be at, at the very least, the headquarters of this company may not be local to you. It may be in another state or city okay Okay. it's not local to you and it might be somewhat remote there might be a branch where you are but that's not like the main place or it's a remote opportunity i would look at what type of company do i want to work for what companies would i love to work for get into their thing and start applying for those positions and then the last thing i'm hearing for you is that to open up the position that you're applying for, meaning, you know, you might be applying for this, but look at all the skills that you have and put it either in chat GP or chat, that chat thing or AI and see what Uh job titles pop from that and then run with it. Um, And also let that chat GP, that chat thing or AI, like touch up your resume, 
that's what I've got for you, love. Okay. I I really hope that was helpful. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. Yep. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. I hope that made Thanks sense and it helps you on your journey. Thank you. Take care, my love. Bye. You too, my love. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to the, um, ne the very next uh, question. That was the one I answered. Okay. I would like to know when my brother Curly come to visit me. Okay, Sally, I I need to ask you a question. Um, I need to ask you, um, Sally, is is your brother in the physical form or the spirit form? I, I'm asking because of the way the, kind of because the way the question is being asked, but also kind of because I'm not sure. So you guys, just so for me personally, I can see people in spirit, even if they're still physical. So people in, in what we call heaven, um can look like they're in like i see their physical form and people in our realm still with flesh i can sometimes see them and i'm not sure if that's spiritual or physical and then so it's a little difficult sometimes for me to tell which realm they're in or if somebody's, especially when somebody's close to transitioning, I'm not saying that's the case here, Sally, but they really look like their physical, their spiritual form because they've already made that decision to, to transition or they know it's coming. So Sally, before I want to know, uh, can you please tell me that, okay? I'm going to go to the next caller who is 20... Three two zero three. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller who is seven seven zero. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Sonia. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Sonia. How can I help you today? I'm just calling to get a general reading. Okay, so Sonia, on the show, um, I'm, I'm going to announce it for you and everybody else listening right now. Um, I start with a direct question. If you want a general reading, I'm very happy to do that in a private session. I answer one question or connect you with one loved one. So please um, give me a question or a loved one. Um. Uh, I just would like a general reading as far as like my love life. Okay. I can help you with that. Okay, Sonia, the first thing that I'm picking up and I, I'm hoping I'm p tapping into you. Um, are you still are you still with someone or are you single? I'm single, but sometimes I like, you know, I let my ex come over, my ex-husband come over, but I'm single. Thank you. Because I'm getting so what I thank you so much for confirming that because I'm getting both. Um so here's what I need to tell you. Okay. If if you want something new, you have to completely cut it with your ex. And I get, believe me, I get, you know, that comfort and that connection and wanting to let it slide every once in a while. Um, but if you want something new, and I think you do, um, it can be scary and it can be difficult to try to jump into something new or to start something new. But if that's what you want, you have to completely cut 
your and your ex's energy and your because you're like when men look at you you still have the energy of being in a relationship because your ex's energy is still all over you and kind of i don't mean this in a vulgar way but it's all over you and in you so in order to move on you have to like cut that connection so you present as single and you can and also you can disconnect from him and have that space of being in a situation where you are starting fresh and over and you don't have this comfort zone situation going on it's up to you what you want i'm not here to tell anybody what to do neither are the angels they can say what's best for your spirit and your progression but they're not here to tell you what to do or how to live your life okay um <clears throat> okay if you think you can you know no okay here's what i'm gonna say again if you want to make it work make a choice either go full force with the x or completely cut it for your being able to have a different situation and love um, neither one of them seems great to you neither one of them feels perfect to you but eventually this is one of those things where they say by force or by choice meaning either you're going to be forced into making a choice or you can choose to make that choice okay now if okay. you if you completely cut the x if you completely cut that out and you're done and you've made that decision and you don't fall back on it okay if you if you completely say that's it i'm i'm moving on then in july august show me somebody in july july august there's the potential for somebody brand new to come in somebody you've never met before it's a brand new person and you have the potential to start with this person if you don't cut the x it'll be a very messy i i just feel like you might keep going on the way you're going on and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what makes your soul happy right now um but i feel like you're just gonna keep like you're gonna keep going on like you're going on okay so i that's not a bad thing it's not a good thing it's just the thing that brings you comfort right now does that make sense yes yes it does because we're divorced and i really do want to move on i'm just afraid to really just step out there yeah and and you know what after a breakup everybody is okay I, after when people break up it's it's really difficult to step out there and it's very difficult maybe to find the right person or somebody that that is good but they do exist they are out there they are available so what i would say is if you really do want to move on you have to really cut the past we can't we can't jump uh -huh. into the future carrying our whole past with us because then our future will look just like our past we have to cut it we have to realize what we love right. and don't love about that situation and then move forward into a situation that we do love that that can that can be healthy now i am not saying by any means that you you have to do this but if you want c you have to do a to equal b to get to get to c i don't know where spirit was going with that but what i would recommend there is the potential in july august to have someone come in that is very gratifying to you and will be all yours okay and if that's what you want okay start separating yourself now make yourself nice and strong and then you know go forward with it okay love okay thank you 
You are so welcome, sweetie. I wish you the best and you can call back anytime, love. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Oh, relationships are just the most difficult thing in the world, aren't they, you guys? They just are. Um, okay, I am going to go to the, uh, the next question. Uh, uh, so I never, I don't think Sally responded and that's okay. Hey, Patrick, how are you? We're just going to go to, I think this is the next one. Goodness gracious. Hi, Tony. Do you have an intuitive sense of whether this program called Elevate is an effective program for healing? It's made by medical intuitive named Sarah. Thank you, Anita. Hey, Anita. Um, So it's difficult, the way I have to answer that might not seem like a practical answer, but what heals people is what they believe will work. So if you if you take this program to heal yourself and you believe it works, it will work. And if you're ready to let go of whatever is going on, if you're taking this program to become like to become a person who does this again anybody you work with has to believe this is going to work which means you have to believe it's going to work if you don't believe it's going to work then it won't if you have to ask this question there's there's some skepticism and you probably this isn't the right program for you I, when I became a hypnotist, it was because I saw something. I saw, um, what is his name? I forget his name. Oh my goodness. Weiss. Weiss. His last name is Weiss on a show. And everything inside of me said, I need to do this. And I signed up the next day pretty much and became a hypnotist because every ounce of everything inside of me was saying, this is this is going to work. This is good. Do it. And that's the kind of knowing you have to have when you go into any program that can help people. Um, because if you are skeptical and you're becoming a practitioner, your people are going to be skeptical. Now, the same thing happened when I did reconnective healing and the clearing work I do. I had this, just this call to it, like I did it without even thinking twice. And that's what works for me. That's, that's how, so if you had, when you're looking at things, that's the feeling you should get. Now, if you're doing this to heal something within you, will it work? Healing is an agreement between the body, the mind, and the soul that you're ready to let something go. If you feel like you still need it, it will not work. Nothing will work. Nothing will work. I will tell you, and this is one thing, whether no matter what form of healing, if I'm, there's this other work I do where angels come directly in and start working on people and removing things and healing things. And, you know, it's, it's miraculous and it's beautiful. Um, and I will tell you this, if the person receiving the healing is dependent, if their income is dependent upon them being ill, nothing's good. They're, they're doing it to prove nothing can help them because they're not going to let go of their security, like disability or whatever it is that they're receiving because that's how they survive now. So in order for something to work, and I know this is a roundabout long answer, you have to believe it and you have to be ready to let it go or you have to believe it so intently 
that you don't have to ask anybody. You just run and do it because you can feel it. It vibrates at your level. It it speaks to your soul. And that's absolutely how it should be um, because that's that's your your whole crew giving you that this is for you. This is for you. Okay. Uh, that's why healings for some people it works and for other people it doesn't. I have a friend who does some of the work that I do, the clearing work. And she says, oh, it never works for me. But when I do it on her, it works on her. But when she uses it, it does, she says she doesn't, it does, it's not as effective. It doesn't work. Well, it does because I, I do it. And when I do it on her, it works, but her being the facilitator isn't as effective to her. Okay. So I hope that I, you know what, Anita, I hope that answer is a good one. I hope it helped you. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 516. 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Kavita from New York. How are you? I'm good, Kavita. How are you? I'm good. Um, I just wanted to get have some communication with my friend Diana who passed over. Do you get any messages from her? Yeah, she was. Uh, did she? Uh, I need to ask you, did she have dark hair? No, she had blonde hair. Okay, there's. Oh, I wish you wouldn't have said that. Oh, that's okay though. There's a woman that showed up first with very dark hair, very full dark hair. Um, it mm -hmm. kind of looks like a 70s hairstyle. This is a an image when she was maybe a little bit younger, not maybe when she passed, but really dark, thick, full hair and um just just a just I feel like this is somebody that might be related to you. Um and then behind okay. her behind her came in like after I started talking, came in a, a blonde. But here's where I'm going to go with this. The first person that showed up wants to tell you something, and then I'll let the next person okay. that showed up tell you something. The first person, <coughs> oh my goodness, it might have been somebody that had something like with their bronchial or something or coughed or something like that, because that came <clears throat> this is coming out of nowhere um <clears throat> whew. what i'm gonna tell you could is be, go ahead could this be Gigi, who was a guidance counselor i worked with she passed with breast cancer uh i get a soft yes on that but what i'm gonna tell you okay. is it's time for you to to em embrace or embark on your heritage, your, your heritage. That's what the word is coming across, your heritage. And it's time for you to um, live, like live your best life. And it's time for you, okay. It's not, I feel, okay. Um, first, I'm gonna finish the message. And it's time for you to cut loose and have like this um, epic life, okay? And I, I'm, I'm just going to say, um, just, I hear that song, we got to cut loose, foot loose. Okay, I can't sing all of it because I couldn't even pull the, the words if I wanted to, but that's the song that's coming through. So just, Okay. You know, eat eat the cake, not all of it. Dance, yeah. laugh, um, live, live. It's time to get get back up and out and just live. And I know you've been doing some of that. Don't worry about what is or is not coming. Just freaking live. Okay, now the second the blonde who is Dion, yeah, your friend, is wanting to say, um, mm -hmm. In Greece, oh my God, she's tickling my nose. You guys, whenever I do this, somebody is, for those of you who can see, somebody's tickling my nose. Like, uh, um, 
<laughs> she is saying that she she is going to be with you in Greece and she's going to give you all these confirmations and signs that she's there with you and le like leading in a direction. So if you have a feeling, hey, let's go look at this. Hey, let's go explore this. Not down dark alleys at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> never down dark roads at night you know but if you feel like let's let's check out this over here just follow that and allow yourself okay. to be led in those directions um she's gonna be giving you like messages um which are little words or thoughts that pop up in your mind while you're there um and so be be intuitive while you're there and listen to what's coming through and how it's coming through and allow yourself to just have a, fant a fantastic time is what she's saying also from i think the woman the first woman i want to say it's lineage because i hear when i point to the first woman it's lineage now i'm gonna say you know, when a person gets on the phone with me and they ask for a loved one, there are many loved ones that will come in so that GT is probably here. But the the first person I want to say is somebody who probably they they passed a bit ago, like a, a very bit ago. Um, Mm -hmm. And they, I feel like, are more, I hear the word ancestor than friend. They were um, family rather than friend. And it's really important to them that you know they're there. And I feel like it's possible they could have passed in the 70s. And again, it's a woman with really, now she didn't, she, if she, she may not have looked this way when she passed, but one of the things was she had very dark, very shiny, uh, full, like so much hair on her head. Oh my gosh. Um, but lo longer hair at some point in her life, probably, you know, how, how we, how we have thicker hair when we're younger, a little bit younger. Um, yeah. she's not showing me her face. I will tell you that she is only showing yeah. me her hair because by her hair, you will know her. But again, I hear lineage. So an ancestor. So it tells me it's, you're a descendant of hers. Okay. So that's the person okay. that came yeah. through first to tell you to, you know, let's live our best life now. Let's, let's get on that train of living our best life. Okay, love. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Kavita. I'm so grateful for your call. I can't wait. Everybody can't wait to hear how your trip to Greece went. I want to remind everybody I am available for um, private readings. Uh, you can go to my website. All the instructions are there. Uh, I'm going to go to this one. <laughs> Angie, will I meet anyone special this year? You will meet a lot of special people this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I know what you mean. Um, October. I'm hearing in October somebody's going to come in that has the potential to be a very long lasting, significant relationship in your life. So um, have a fun girl summer. It's what me and all my girlies are doing. We're having fun girl summers. We're traveling places. We're doing things. We're just having the most amazing time. So have a fun girl summer and then right around that October time. And I'm, I'm seeing like um, pumpkins and stalks, stalks, stalks you know, those tall things and um, ba barrels, not barrels of hay, bales of hay. <laughs> so right around that time, I feel like there's the potential for somebody to come in and be a very good uh, partner to you. So now when I say somebody is going to be a good partner, what, what they mean is there's going to be a lot of growth, healing possibly, and learning in love. 
If you're not growing together or you're not growing in love, you're growing apart. I feel like the person coming in in October is, is ready for a monogamous relationship, a one-on-one -on -one monogamous relationship. Now, I do want to say this. Timelines can sometimes be off and it can be somebody who might, you might meet them like in September, but it ends up being October when everything takes off. Um, however it works, be open, be open. Um, and the other thing I'm hearing is it's not somebody you already know. It's somebody you have never met before. And in the beginning, it's going to seem like they want to take, like it, it might take a minute getting it off the ground or connecting. Don't get suspicious or critical of that. Not everybody is a love bomber. Not everybody shows a false front. Not everybody comes in and wants to, you know, <clears throat> you know, is in such a hurry to, <clears throat> oh, hurry to get you, you know, in that position, position, positions, <laughs> positions. <laughs> um, some people actually want to cultivate, and even some men want to cultivate the relationship before cultivating the vajay. That's all I'm going to say. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, love. I hope that helps. I hope that that is uh, extremely helpful. Um, remember, I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday, Wednesday at 7 p.m., so... Um, Uh, I'm looking for a quick question here. Okay. Uh, I just need, hey, Nadine, Rebecca, Nadine, uh, Patrick. Thank you so much, Patrick. Listen to Patrick, everybody. Thank you, Patrick. You're the best. Um, so I'm going to go to, I'm just going to go to this question right here. It's, it is the next question. And I know I'm, 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 I think I have time to answer it. Tony would love to see if you can connect with Carl, my ex-boyfriend, any message for me today. He's, he's been waiting. So here's what I instantly hear. Say hi, say hi. So I'm just going to say the words that I hear. Say hi, say hi. The next thing is um, that I think it's Whitney Houston, that song, I Will Always Love You. Um, the way I'm hearing it, I'm just going to say this, Lolly, the way I'm hearing it is sorry for the way things went down. Um, they shouldn't have gone down that way. Now, that could be either the way he passed or in the relationship. It doesn't matter how that's meant. You're going to know. Nope. It, that's that's a message for you. And then the next thing I'm hearing is um, that song, Take It Easy, Take It Easy, that song. Um, and then I'm, so don't stress out so 90 much. 90 seconds. Like I'm doing right now because I just heard that. Don't stress. Um, and then don't, uh, don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy, meaning don't let the sound, whatever's going on in your mind, drive you crazy, relax. Um, and embrace the embrace, embrace what's going on with you and love it because there will come a time when you wish you would have done more, said more, had more 60 love seconds. and light. Okay. Uh, that's your message. Thank you everybody so much for being here. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. You guys have an amazing rest of the day. I'll see you Wednesday.